Lord. Marilyn, where are you? ago, the end of October, I stood before you and um, asked for your assistance for the migrants coming in, for the children, the asylum seekers. Mm -hmm. And once again, you rose to the call. We started out with a coat drive. And by God's grace and by your tremendous, tremendous hearts you gave us, and when I say us, I'm referencing our deaconess Mary Davis, who's the head of the senior missionaries, and myself, we spearheaded this drive, and we collected over $13,000 wow. in cash. migrants coming into the city, regardless of the politics, right. you recognized that they are God's children yes. and they yes. needed our help. Yes. And you heard the clarion call and you rose to the occasion. With that, over $1,300, we shopped and we shopped and we shopped. <laughs> and I cannot forget those of you who gave donations of clothing. Like I said, we started out as a coat drive, but someone in their kind heart, I don't know who the first one was, but decided, I'm gonna give an outfit. So we had outfits coming for children, for the young adults. We had uh, clothing for infants as early as one month old. We were anticipating the birth of new infants, women that were just about ready to deliver any month, any minute. So we shopped and you gave infant clothing. And so for this, we, for, we are forever grateful. I just would like to let you know that we dealt with four facilities, the first being Kingston, Kingston Family Residence and the HCC, which is the Haitian Council of Churches. And we gave to In Kind, which is in Lower Manhattan, and also the Fanny Barnes residence on Saratoga. Wow. So that was four facilities. <laughs> then on top of that, we took it a step further because of your generosity, yeah. because of your kindness, right. because of your belief and your love. We stepped up our game and we listened to the mayor and we listened to our pastor and we adopted a church a church on 18th Avenue here in Brooklyn. It's the Iglesias or Venus Cristianos Church on 18th Avenue and 80th Street. We donated five boxes to that church. So again, I thank you. But before I close, I thank each and every one of you because we could not have done it without you. We could, there's no way. But there were a few people that stepped up that decided to come in and help Deaconess Davis and myself. We didn't ask, we, they just came, and we're so forever grateful. And those people, Kathy Williams, she may be listening on, um, online, Mary Appleway, I believe she's here, um, Karen Jones Williams, our assistant church clerk, and um, bear with me, because I'm going memory now, uh, Deaconess Diane Shelton, and last but definitely not least, our seasoned warriors leader, Ross Baum. <laughs> and I have to let you know that Ross came down and we went downstairs to Marilyn. Come on, she dragged me downstairs to the basement. And I, yes, she did. She dragged me downstairs to the basement, gave me a tour of what we have downstairs. But that's another, that's another issue. But um, my point is, is that we had so much stuff. She gave us so much. The toiletries that we gave to the church, the church that we adopted. Again, we could never do this. And then again, Roz and Diane stepped up their game. And last week, they went with me to the church to deliver the five boxes for the migrants. So, Brown, I say that I love you. I mean it from the 
bottom of my heart. You all stepped up, you showed out, and you showed God's love. And yes. that's the most important thing that we show. We walk worthy. We walk worthy that we can do it. And I told you, if we do our best, if we do our best, God will indeed do the rest. I love you again, and I thank you all.